Transport Minister Paul Valvan announced the new parking scheme at Grand Parade at a press conference last month, saying the number of parking spaces in the area was set to double. However, the Heritage Trust says it's shocked at the manner with which the scheme was launched, saying it devalues the planning system and processes it has worked so hard to bring to the public's attention. As a historical area site, it uh, has been used by the community for, for many, many, many years for various uh, events and uh, parades, fair, etc., etc. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we feel that it's going to uh, spoil the view of our botanical gardens, which, and having such a structure there, is uh, other options that could be looked at. Such as? Uh, um, basically, um, underground parking. Uh, this, uh, this scheme, which has been thrown at us out of, out of the blue, basically, uh, does not uh, compare any other options or, or table any other options. The Trust says it's frustrated at the inconsistencies in government's approach to consultation, at times robustly defending heritage principles, yet in other instances riding roughshod over its own rules. The Trust also points out that the scheme has not been alluded to in any manifesto nor in the recently launched Sustainable Transport and Traffic Plan. Neither, they say, has there been any prior consultation with them in their capacity of statutory consultee to the Development and Planning Commission. Although government is expect, uh, exempt from having um, their applications ratified at DPC, there's still a, a requirement that they are consulted and discussed by the uh, appointed uh, members of the Commission. In its statement, the Trust says Grand Parade had been proposed for listing within the schedules of the forthcoming Heritage Act.